Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Data Types and Operators. In this tutorial, we will learn about data types in Python like numbers and boolean and operators in Python like arithmetic operators and boolean operators. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system, Python 3.4.3, and IPython 5.1.0. To practice this tutorial, you should know how to run basic Python commands on the IPython console. If not, see the relevant Python tutorials on this website. There are three built-in data types in Python to represent numbers. Int, Float, and complex. Let us start IPython. Open the terminal. Type IPython3 and press enter. From here onwards, remember to press the enter key after typing every command on the terminal. Let us first see about int. Type a is equal to 13. Type a. Now we have our first int variable a. To see the type of a, type, type inside parenthesis a. This means that a is of integer data type. There are some functions associated with the int data type to manipulate it. This can be explored by typing a dot and then press the tab key. Here you can see the list of functions. Int data type can hold integers of any size. Let us see an example. Type b is equal to 20 times 9. Here we are storing 9 repeated 20 times in b. Type type inside parenthesis b. We can see that type of b is integer. Next we will see about float data type. Type P is equal to 3.141592. Type, type inside parenthesis P. We can see that type of P is float. The last data type in the list is complex number. Type C is equal to 3.2 plus 4.6 J. It is just a combination of two floats. The imaginary part being defined by J notation instead of I. Complex numbers have a lot of functions specific to them. Type C dot and then press the tab key. Let us try some of them. Type C dot real. Type C dot image. C dot real gives the real part and c dot image gives the imaginary part of the complex number we can get the absolute value of c by typing abs inside parenthesis c python also has boolean as a built in type to try it out just type t is equal to true t in capital now you can apply different boolean operations on t for example, type f is equal to not t. To see the value of f, type f. Type f or t. The output is true. Type f and t. The output is false. What if you want to apply one operator before another? We can use parenthesis for precedence. Let us write a small code to check this out. Type A is equal to false. Type B is equal to true. Type C is equal to true. Now we will check how precedence changes with parenthesis. Let us try two expressions and their evaluations. Type inside parenthesis A and B or C. This expression gives the value true. 
Now type A and inside parenthesis B or C. It gives the value false. Let us now look at some operators available in Python 3. Python uses plus sign for addition. Type 23 plus 74. Minus sign for subtraction. Type 23 minus 56. Asterisk sign for multiplication. Type 45 asterisk 76. Slash sign for division. Type 384 slash 16. Let us move ahead with operators. Percentage is signed for modulo operation. Modulo operator gives remainder value. Type 87 percentage is signed 6. 2 asterisk for an exponent. Type 7 asterisk asterisk 8. In case we may want to use the current value of variable in which the result is stored in the expression. We can do that by putting the operator before equal to. Let us say a is equal to 73. Type a asterisk equal to 34. To see the value of a, type a. Again, we will assign the same value to a by typing a is equal to 73. Type a is equal to a asterisk 34. Type a. You can see that both the expressions are giving the same value. Pause the video. Try this exercise and then resume the video. Find the square root of 3 using Python. The solution is on your screen. 3 asterisk asterisk 0 0.5 gives the square root of 3. Pause the video. Try this exercise and then resume the video. Will you get the same value for the below expressions? Switch to the terminal for the solution. Type 3 asterisk asterisk 0 0.5. This operation gives a float. Type 3 asterisk asterisk 1 by 2. This operation also gives a float but different value. Hence, we will not get the same value for the expressions. To get the same value, type 3 asterisk asterisk inside parenthesis 1 by 2. We can see that now the values are same. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we have learnt about data types in Python like numbers and boolean and operators in Python like arithmetic operators and boolean operators. Here are some self-assessment questions for you to solve. What are the three built-in data types in Python to represent numbers? Which operator is used to find exponent? And the answers? First, the built-in data types are int, float, and complex. Second, two asterisks are used to find exponent. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Please post your general queries on Python in this forum. FOSI team coordinates the TBC project. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. For more details, visit this website. This is Priya from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.